Hello everyone, this is uh, lab 9.1, the Wheatstone Bridge uh, based measurements with MIDAC and LabVIEW. Um, this is MEC 314 with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Um, and so what we're given here is the initial schematic on how to wire up our MIDAC. Um, and so <clears throat> I have that right here. It's a bit messy and it's because I put in a whole bunch of wires. Um, but what I've done is created resistor one, two, and three. Um, and then of course I've got my voltage on the side and then I've carried it all the way through. Um, and then I've done jumpers using alligator clips over to here. Um, I've got it running on my keyboard. Um, but uh, it took me a while to get this figured out just because I was really confused. The uh, the website calls that a load sensor, and then we were told to work with a strain gauge, and so it took me a little while to figure out that they can be one and the same according to the website we got it from. Um, but as you can see here, I've moved a lot of this around and tied it all together. So then that way the Wheatstone bridge should work. Um, and so what I've done is put up this uh, lab view um, and we go from the DAC down into the filter. Um, and then that ties into the measurement files as well as all of the operations in order to um, push out the measurement files and do all the operations for it. <laughs> So that would be the block diagram, and then the front panel is over here. Um, and so I will go ahead and start this. Um, <clears throat> so everything is running, and best I can tell that's working correctly. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be close to zero, and then you uh, put a load on it, and that's when they change. Um, because I looked at this online and theoretically somebody could take four of these and create a scale based on that alone. Um, so I believe these are supposed to be zeroed out. My VO VEX is a little bit high. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to fix that. Um, I would love if somebody commented and mentioned how to do that um, but as you can see because of that right to measurement file this has now showed up over here so I will stop this operation and now I can pull up the file and we can see all of the data has been stored in here now um, and that is how I set up my lab